guys, what's going on? It is Grant from Grant and Shelby, here today with another barbell box. We've got the June barbell box. Super excited for this one. It seems kind of heavier, similar to like last time, but for those of you guys who don't know, barbell box is a fitness subscription box that costs roughly around $35, depending on shipping. It's a Canadian product, um, and yeah, I've been a subscriber for almost a full year now. Um, I think it's about a month or two in. I really enjoy their products. Uh, they typically do a lot of full-size products compared to other uh, boxes. Uh, they do a lot of supplements more than other ones as well. So um, I'm gonna do an unboxing of this and kind of see how it is. Um, I think that there's going to be a t-shirt and maybe something else. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, I don't really know a lot about this month. So excited to open it. Yeah. Oh, whoa, that's awesome. They've got a ton of stuff in here. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the full-size product here. Looks like I've got, um, I think it's a pre-workout. Uh, it's 36 servings from Perfect Sports. Never even really heard of it. It's called Burn Cycle. Okay, so like it reduces hunger. Um, it, I think it's just honestly a fat burner. Looks like it has 200 milligrams of caffeine. Um, it's got theanine in it. It's got taurine in it. It's got tyrosine in it. It's got a ton of other stuff in it. It seems more kind of like a pre-workout, but you know, I am intrigued that they actually got us a fat burner. Um, I'm gonna have to try it out just at least a couple times to see it. I'm not really a huge fan of fat burners just because of I haven't seen them work on me before. Like previous fat burners I've tried, it just didn't really work, so. Um, but I'm mean, excited to try it, just see how it is. Oh my gosh, wow, that's a lot. Okay, the next up we've got, we've got the Isotope from Redcon 1. We have both the chocolate and also peanut butter chocolate. Um, these are pretty lean whenever it comes to, whenever it comes to Proteins, uh, it's roughly around 33 grams for the one per scoop, and it's 25 grams of protein inside of it. So pretty lean. Um, I thought it would be a little bit leaner because especially whenever it's talking about isotope, you know, so isolation or way isolate, um, but that's still okay as well. Another thing from Redcon 1 looks like we have a recovery. It's called Grunt. Um, I have seen this stuff before, um, and it is uh, flavored tiger's blood. So uh, they are a huge, um, Red, Redcon 1 has honestly really been blowing up lately. They do a pretty good job on their supplements. They do a lot of ambassador work, which is really surprising, but um, Grunt is one of the products that a lot of people have been preaching a lot more um, on uh, Instagram versus um, a lot of their other products with like Isotope or even Total War. So what are these even? I guess this is a nutrition type of thing where it uh, helps um, remove cravings or something like that because since they're like peanut butter, monkey bread, monster cookie, gummy fish, um, there are a lot of other different flavors there to kind of curb your appetite. Um, I don't really know a lot about these. I don't really like doing these either because of I typically like to eat. Yeah, that's not really good there. Um, next up, we've got an Eat Me Brownie. It's pretty, pretty, pretty soft there. Okay, it's got 22 grams of protein in here. That's insane. Seven grams of carbs and six grams of fat. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I've actually never even heard of this before. I bet it's not gonna taste great, but I'm still gonna try it. And then, last but not least, Looks like um, they've been partnering with Built a little bit more. Um, I've got lemon lime uh, for both of these here. Um, I did like the other ones that I had. I will say that the taste is not really the greatest. It's kind of tough to, to deal with whenever you first drink it, but throughout your workout and once you consistently take it, it like you feel a lot better. I, I noticed I felt better and also my workout was um, consistently good, right? Whereas like typically whenever you don't take something like closer to the end, it's just like, it's tough to go through and it's very rigorous. This it felt like 
I had a good workout in and also at the same time I was getting a ton of recovery in. So I don't mind these products. I am gonna definitely try out the lemon lime one. I haven't tried the flavor yet. Looks like that is it for the box. Um, I thought I was actually gonna have a shirt. I was kind of surprised. It was a lot of supplements here, um, which like I said, this is more of a supplement box. So uh, I am very happy that they actually brought in a, a full product um, like they typically do. That's the one thing that these guys have compared to a lot of their competitors is that they typically do a full product of some sort of supplement. So um, bringing that in, you know, I'm again, not really a fan of fat burners, but definitely appreciate it. All right, so here we have their handy little notebook on kind of seeing like how much they are and things like that. So looks like the isotope, um, it, they're actually going into American, so that's cool. Um, these are $4, or I'm guessing the, the combined is $4, because that makes sense, $2 per scoop, because um, I believe this is just one scoop. Yep, it's just one complete scoop there. Um, I honestly agree with that. I think that that's a really good price range for that. And plus, Redcon 1 has done pretty good products. Then we have the Burn Cycle. Um, it says $44 Canadian, so we would have to bump it down. Um, it's gonna be roughly around, I would say 38 to 40. So let's just keep it at 39. Yeah, I kinda agree with that. Um, if it was like closer to $30 in general, I think I would like this more. Uh, or, or I would actually try it or continually do it more. But um, I definitely understand like it's 36 scoops. So I mean, it's a little bit more than dollar per scoop, um, but it's still a pretty good price range. So just with those, I mean, you're already gonna be saving. I'm already saving uh, roughly around like $8, give or take. Uh, original chocolate eat me guilt. Eat me guilt free choc uh, ch chocolate brownie. Um, and that is $5, that's a little bit steep there. I think if $3 is a little bit better there, but you know, it is a high protein product, so I can definitely understand that as well. Uh, typically it's like the convenience fee, right? Then we've got the Built Sports Energy Drink. Those are $10 Canadian, so we would go down, which that'd be closer to eight, so about four-ish each. Again, totally agree there. Pretty much what that type of product is, right? Um, intro workouts are very rare. You very rarely see intro workouts. Um, and for that to be a premium product too, I think that price range really works well. Then we've got Grunts, which is $2 Canadian, which is probably, I would honestly say, closer to a dollar um, with one serving. Yeah, totally agree. I'm actually really excited to try this because of I have been taking a lot more Redcon 1 products and this one was an option for me to take with a 50% off sale, but I chose um, the pre-workout compared to the recovery. And then last but not least, looks like we've got the Rainbow Plaque Flex Flavors by Devotion Nutrition. Oh, okay. So these are just flavors to add on to like flavorless things. So like if you were to get a, um, let's just say unsweetened or unflavored uh, protein shake or a, just even protein in general, you could use this and make it flavorful. You know, they kind of give you options on like what it would be used for, but I wouldn't use it on a, on what even is that? Well, they have oatmeal, they have like some sort of cookie thing call it $10 Canadian. So then probably looking at like $8. Uh, for me, something to use like with that and just being only four packets, I personally don't see a benefit in doing that. I mean, I would honestly kind of put it closer to $4. But even if we put it closer to $4, whenever we're looking at all these combined, we're looking at like a $70 box for $35. So you're doubling your, um, your price coming in. Honestly, that's actually pretty sweet. Um, on top of that, they stuck with just supplements, which is really, really cool. Um, I don't mind that at all. I definitely like like you know them bringing in supplements and introducing you to new products. And they do it the right tasteful way. Like, unfortunately with Jack Packed, they kind of do a mixture of the good and bad products. Whereas, you know, Barbell Box, they do a lot of the good products and a lot of the premium products versus, you know, the standard shelf products. So, um, 
I am very pleased with this. If I were to rate this, I'd probably put it at a, I'd probably put it closer to an eight, nine, um, because of, I would use a lot of these products, but I wouldn't use some of them on a day-to-day -day basis. For instance, with this right here, and then the fat burner, I'm a little bit precautious, but again, I do appreciate that they gave me a full-size product. So anyway, that's my review. Uh, what'd you guys think about it? Uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you feel like there was something missing? Please put it in the comments down below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.